If recent events have taught us anything, it's that the world still has so much to offer. From sandy beaches to the stillness of the countryside, our planet is a truly beautiful place. In this interview, we'll be taking to the road to explore the story behind Indie Campers. I'll be speaking to CEO Hugo Oliveira about what inspired him to choose this path and why more people nowadays are following the nomadic lifestyle. We'll also talk about running a company with your own systems and the importance of diversity in the world of business today. My name's Andrew Wilson, and this is A Moment With. Hugo? Hi. Hey. Hi, good to see you. Thanks for having me. No, no, not at all. I'm looking forward to a little ride in one of these. Great. Should we get going? Let's hit the road. Great. Did you always want to work in travel? Did you always want to be a traveling guy? I would say it was because of the international community. I was very fortunate to make Erasmus in Italy, uh, where I've met a lot of people. And then I study abroad also in uh, Poland. And uh, just before my, I write my master thesis, which actually was a business plan to create Indie Campers. I know you want to have many more good trips. Yes. Can you remember the first time you realized all the potential and the fun involved in, in, in traveling taking, in, or in, traveling in a camper van? In traveling in a camper van. You know, it was actually in Australia where it was more out of a need of having a sustainable place to travel, sleep, and, uh, you know, cook uh, in a place. So there was a very affordable concept of a camper van there. And, you know, I just got in love. You know, I, I could do everything I want. You know, I had to travel, I have to work, but I also could travel, could cook in a camper van, I could sleep in front of the river. I could, every night I was changing the place where I was sleeping. It was unbelievable. I, I mean, it looks like the world just opened to me. You know, like the level of freedom I felt at that time was so exciting that I, I had to, to to make that available to everyone. For me, it was so obvious that people needed and, and that democratizing this type of trips was a truly need that, you know, after that trip, I, I you know, I decided to, to build what is Indie Campers today. Then you came back to Portugal, but you started Indie Campers in Portugal, right? Yes, yes. Uh, right after university, me and a friend, uh, we ended up building the first three vehicles, uh, actually six uh, by ourselves. And we built everything, the platform, uh, the, we designed the operations, we designed the customer service. There was one thing I, I believe we sorted out well since the beginning, which is even though we probably were not giving uh, the best um, vehicles, we were trying to give the best service and we were really, really obsessed about that, you know, do everything we could do to, to make the customer happy. It's common to hear that people had the best time of their lives. I don't think any random hotel can, uh, can say that people came here and have the best time of their life. We have the power to change um, the way people have fun and that's, that's a bless. First of all, there's, we can talk about vans and we can talk about road trips, and of course we will in a moment, but first of all, you would say that this is all about innovation, isn't it? It is. So I think we have camper vans for many years, uh, but I believe the way they were available to, to people was not uh, the most, say, affordable, convenient, and. Uh, to make that possible and to democratize, uh, you need to do some, you need to change some, some things. And I believe we, we are still a long way to, to innovate the way we want to do it. 
but I think we already did the first steps, but there is still a lot to innovate. The experience uh, that you get out of it is what matters, and you can add a lot of things through technology, through, through service that uh, can help improve a lot the experience, make it easier uh, and convenient for people. And the overriding concept is the joy of exploration, yes. of the freedom to travel where you want to go, when you want to go. Yes, uh, actually it's where the name comes from, Indy, from independent, right? So it's, it gives you the freedom, you know, it doesn't mean you cannot plan uh, your trip and uh, select every uh, small experience you have along the way, but also means you have the freedom to, to change the route at any moment because you have everything with you that you need. You know, you have your family that is traveling with you, your friends, uh, and uh, uh, I think that's uh, amazing. What kind of clientele, what kind of demographic are you looking for? Old, young, retired, just starting out? Or have you got something to offer for all of those different types of people? You know, 60% of our customers are doing this for the first time. So they also don't know what they need somehow. So we have to do this journey together, right? So the brand built a platform for everyone. Uh, is uh, digital, so uh, you need to have, uh, of course, access to, to digital um, capabilities. To be honest, uh, we have products for everyone. We have destinations for everyone. Uh, we don't really have a segment uh, that we focus on. We prefer to try to focus on the needs from the customers overall, uh, how to improve their uh, experience and how to improve um, uh, the quality of life, the quality of time they will have during their road trip, uh, rather than focus on the segment. You've said that a lot of people, they take a holiday with, uh, with Indy campers or a road trip of some sort, and they remember it as being the best holiday yes. they ever took. Why do you think that is? It's because of uh, the opportunity people have uh, to be free with, their, with the people they love the most, right? So uh, they can be in the nature, they can be wherever they want, they can travel, they can experiment a different perspective from day to day. So I would say customers come mainly from cities with a lot of noise, with a lot of uh, things going around and suddenly they have an opportunity to get to know a new place, stopping it wherever they want. And uh, I think that's, that's, that's amazing. Another thing that strikes me with all these employees that you have now in so many different countries and so many different nationalities on your staff now, Diversity is an important thing, isn't it? It's all part of the, of the sustainable future for organizations. We are present in 23 countries. We, had around, we have right now around 40 nationalities. Even though the diversity is not only about the nationalities you are in the company. It's their backgrounds, their, uh, you know, the countries they're coming from, their orientation. Like having diversity is a superpower right what you can learn uh, from a diverse uh, uh, team it's uh, it doesn't have an end right we have done it naturally uh, since the beginning and we really feel was we really feel that was one of our pillars of su success in terms of growing because allow us to understand how diverse is the world how how the answer can come from a different completely different perspective and also last year we have 150 nationalities traveling with us if we don't behave as an international organization uh, we don't understand our customer and we don't create a strong group of individuals that are much stronger together you know this is just the beginning yes. that you have a real long-term vision for this organization and for what indie campers can do and evolve into what's your vision down the line for the future when you are building something uh, you need to build it in a sustainable way. In my opinion, there is no short-term uh, uh, path for, for, for being success. Uh, I don't consider we are successful yet. Uh, I think there is many steps we still need to go. And I, I think this mindset should never go away uh, because if you really want to build a right organization, you need to build it to last. And I think this is what we are trying to do. The next steps will come through understanding better the customer, understanding how we better through product uh, serve these customers, and understand also um, how do we change the organization from the inside permanently to, to, to guarantee 
uh, our people have the tools, uh, the access to data, the access to any kind of information that allowed us to build the right product, uh, which it's basically a uh, road trip, right? And a road trip can be done in many different ways. We believe we can start by solving it, how to do a road trip with a RV, with a camper van. There is uh, different ownership models. You can buy, you can rent, uh, you can short rent, you can long rent, you can do different options. And we are learning how to better serve uh, customers right now. A road trip is, like I said before, is the experience. Uh, like I said, people make the experience, like we are just facilitators of that experience. You see, you are having fun, aren't you? <laughs> I am having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always having fun. Hugo Oliveira, thanks very much. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. <laughs>